Hi everybody, um, this will be my first official video other than the introduction, and hopefully this time I'm not saying um every three seconds. So here I am. Uh, this video will be about gifts for preppers. Um, some of them are for non-preppers, but mostly it's for preppers. Um, people who prep. Uh, I'm going to get right to it because... I don't really have much to say to introduce it, um, other than I was asked to do this video for a fella, I cannot remember his name, but if I do remember you, I will send you a message telling you that I finished this, um, so <laughs> hopefully I remember who you are, uh, so let's get to it, this started as, um, a Christmas list like things to get people who prep um, just writing out things you know different ideas for people uh, this person might like that that person might like this um, and it ended up really any kind of present um, birthdays different you know holidays uh, not just Christmas but considering Christmas is coming up I figured I'd better get to this so here we go the first one is seeds. That is like, I guess number one in gifts. Um, not the little pretty flowers to plant a garden. I'm talking cucumbers, carrots, tomatoes, lettuce, apples, different fruits, different vegetables. Things that are substantial, don't take up that much space and are going to help you in the future. Um, they don't have to be non-GMO. Uh, I mean, that's preferred, but in the end, any seeds will produce some kind of fruit or vegetable. I mean, it may not reproduce, but something will be planted. Um, please do not go for uh, the pretty flowers. I mean, they're gorgeous, they're lovely, but no one's really going to use them. They're just kind of, they sit in the drawer just waiting to be planted. So, uh, use something that's going to help somebody. Someone's actually going to eat. Maybe give them something that uh, they would die without if they ever get to that moment. Uh, you know, a fruit will give you some kind of nutrients. Um, with seeds, I love the idea of giving a gardening basket. Maybe start it with a watering can. Um, I love the antique little watering cans, maybe a metal one. Um, maybe throw in a little shovel. They have these really cute decorated shovels and, you know, little picks and different things. Um, they do it at Target usually. Um, not sure if they still have them, but I do know they have them sometimes. Uh, maybe throw in a water checker. I don't know where you would get one or if they even still make them. Uh, my grandmother had one. And it looks almost like the metal. It's a little metal stick. And it pokes down into the plant. And it has maybe like a circle or a cube or something. And it shows, you know, this is all watered. This needs water, you know, that kind of thing. Um, my grandmother used it all the time and it helped her so much. Um, helps you with uh, not over flooding plants. Because surprisingly a lot of people do that. <laughs> um, I know my aunt uses a knee pad. Uh, you can find them pretty much anywhere. You can make them on your own out of pieces of foam, random pieces of cloth, maybe an old pillow. Um, just something to cushion. I know a lot of um, the older folks and some younger folks, um, it hurts after a while of being on your knees, especially if you're on the hard dirt or the concrete. Um, it hurts your knees after a while. Of, um, bending over, hurt your back, you know, don't want to be achy. So I know I would throw in a knee pad, uh, especially for like my aunt or my uncle or anyone. Um, and you can find real cute ones at, you know, Lowe's or different places. Um, maybe some pretty flowers and some frilly ribbon or something. Um, gloves. I know a lot of people wouldn't think about it, but I love 
pretty gardening gloves. They're gorgeous and they help a lot, especially when if you throw in some um, plants that grow with thorns um, or the spiky leaves. I know some have spikes on the leaves. Um, it really helps to throw in a pair of gloves uh, in case the person doesn't have them. Um, and you can never really get too much gloves because you use them no matter what. Um, uh, another idea is uh, silver. Now this one I wasn't, I did not come up with this one. Um, someone else told me about how they are investing in silver or buying them silver. I forget which one it actually was. Uh, but regardless, I think they got them silver. And in the end, that's a bargaining tool. Um, it's one of those things, it doesn't even have to be like a necklace or anything. Maybe a little ball of silver, maybe they can just use it as a decoration or something. Or a little keepsake. Um, and in the end, you know, uh, if, if worse comes to worse, it will be a bargaining tool for them and it can save them maybe. Who knows? Um, Another idea is books. Now, I love this idea because I love to collect books. I collect the classics mostly, but uh, you can get someone a book on prepping if they are brand new to prepping. That would be a wonderful idea um, for the people who like to can or are thinking about canning. Um, get them a canning book, different recipes. I know you can come up with some amazing like chicken dinners that you just throw in the can, throw it in the canner and fix it. I mean... It's amazing. I've had one. But, uh, you know, cooking books, even. Um, I'd go more for, like, simple cooking, maybe, like, um, camping cooking, you know? Um, not something that requires a stove and a skillet and all this different stuff. Um, simple. Keep it simple. Um, and most definitely the classics. Um, Keep, you know, Frankenstein or Romeo and Juliet, different things like that. They're a comfort. They are, you know, in my go bags, I keep classics. I keep a couple classics in there. In my survivor's kit, I keep several classics in there. Um, you know, just the good old stories, Alice in Wonderland. Especially for kids, that's like number one. Get them some nice books. Um, if worse comes to worse, it will be a luxury to be able to sit there and read a book because there won't be books produced anymore. So there's an idea. Different books. Um, if you have that uncle who lets everyone know that he has guns, um, ammo is something. I don't really, I'm not going to get anyone ammo, but, you know, there's an idea if you know someone like that. Um, do not buy ammo for the random woman who has never talked about owning a gun because chances are she doesn't have one and she's going to sit there for a while wondering what to do with it and then it's most likely going to end up in a drawer of knickknacks. Um, Here's a great one that I thought of, um, solar cell phone chargers. Uh, they're a bit pricey sometimes, but I know there is some cheaper ones out there. Uh, definitely check eBay, um, but I know in the future cell phones are going to be worthless and whatever else, but cell phones have games on them. Cell phones have your photos. I know my phone, my phone, its battery dies a lot, but, um, I have tons of games, um, different games like Mahjong and different things. Um, I keep all my photos here, uh, photos of my son, photos of my family, um, photos of my grandmother before she passed. Everything is on my phone. Um, a solar charger will give me the luxury to when those nights are hard and I'm missing the old life, I can look back at my phone and go, hey, look at me with my grandma, look at me with my family, look at, you know, if, if family members have passed when worst comes to worse, um, 
I can have those memories with me and be able to access it. Uh, and my mahjong, because I love that. <laughs> um, another idea is body care basket. Now, I didn't know how to word it, so I just put body care basket. Um, but just a little basket of um, shampoos, conditioners, soaps, um, different things that, you know, you can give that to pretty much anybody. And they'll think of it, oh, nice, but uh, a lot of preppers, you get those little shampoos and little conditioners and soaps and stuff. And you're thinking, okay, that's going in the, in the go bag or whatever. Um, you know, those are comforts. Uh, I love that idea, personally. Um, here's another really good one. Cold care packages. I love these things. Um, for me, I put in tissues, Tylenol, Vicks, cough drops, um, hand sanitizer, chicken soup mix, um, bouillon cubes, nasal spray, and tea packs. Um, wonderful things to have, especially if someone, you know, with the winter coming around and different seasons passing, um, a lot of, like my family, they get sick real easy, so uh, I love that idea. Um, and for preppers, you can use it, you know, that's something that uh, you can keep and it's small, little packages, it doesn't really take up that much space, um, especially the bouillon cubes, I love those. Um, love bouillon um cough drops uh i personally i like the um halls they have the fruity ones i guess breezers or whatever they are i don't know but um i love those and uh my son thinks they're candy so i mean either way <laughs> someone's gonna love them so uh, another idea is jars um, for people who do can, um, leave them empty. Just jars. I mean, jars are kind of expensive nowadays. So, I mean, an empty jar for a canner, I mean, the possibilities are endless. And uh, for the people who don't can, um, if you do, you can fill them with jams, uh, different ch like chicken soups, chicken you can put a little seasoning on the chicken and uh, can that. Um, meals, you can put full meals in there. Different ideas um, that'll just, it makes someone's day, especially if uh, if you've gone through the time to make something especially for them. Uh, it means a little bit more. Um, candles or wax. Uh, sustainable candles is what I say. Um, not little itty bitty tea lights or the gigantic candles that have one wick and they're mostly decoration. Um, I'm talking candles that are actually going to light away or something. Um, I also recently have gotten into the idea of waxing. Um, no, not my legs. Uh, putting wax over cans or boxes of cereal. Um, such and they keep a lot longer. You can wax your own cheeses. You can wax different all kinds of stuff. You can do it. Um, that's an idea, but you have to know the per or even if they don't know about it, get a little pamphlet for waxing your own foods and put it in there. You know, it's a wonderful idea. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a seasoning basket. Now I love this idea. Um, put peppers, salts, chilies, different different flavors that garlic salt, you know, parsley, all these different things that you know. I love. I love my food really spicy, really seasoned, and uh, you know, a, lo a lot of those you can um, keep for a long time. So that's another thing that'll work for pretty much anybody. Um, duct tape. Now I like this idea of. Um, now they've got, you know, all these different designs of duct tape. Um, you can do this for kids or adults. Uh, kids, maybe it's a craft project for them. You know, they see it as a challenge. Uh, for adults, they're like, yeah, I have a purse that's messed up. I need to fix it. <laughs> um, I mean, duct tape is awesome. Who doesn't like duct tape? And now they've got, like, my favorite is the pink zebra. I just, I love it. 
So, I mean, different duct tapes, and they can throw that in the go bag. How simple is that? <clears throat> Other, like, out-of-the-box gifts, like, not the simple, here, unwrap it. Um, a shooting range trip for the family or just for the adults. Um, learn to shoot, have fun. I mean, I love it. I, I haven't been shooting yet, but the idea of going to shoot uh, scares me a bit, but but I'm sure I'd love it. Um, a canning class. I know a lot of people like the idea of canning, but they haven't gotten around to it. Um, that's something I would be totally interested in is uh, going to a class and learning how to can or different meals that you can put in a can or... Um, different things that will just different recipes my phone different recipes that are just you know out of the box um a camping trip i love this idea um like for me if i was going to tell them that we were going on a camping trip i would wrap up something that has to do with camping maybe a lighter or you know something really awkward a log maybe like awkward stuff have them unwrap it together and you know be all like what's this and then you're like we're going camping <laughs> and then they all go nuts like it's Disneyland you know uh doubt that'll happen but it'd be funny um you know and you can also make it a learning experience teach them how to forage even if you don't know how to forage um get a little pamphlet so many places will give you pamphlets for things like foraging what foods what plants can you eat um get a little thing and try it try it together make it an experience um fire starting uh hunting in some places uh don't hunt at a national park or the ones that like you're not supposed to hunt at please don't like go and hunt it and be like well she told me to um like don't hunt the little rabbits they're there for a reason <laughs> um but i mean like different different things that you know they'll just make it a little bit more enjoyable and it's something that can last long after um christmas comes around or their birthday or whatever this is for um, and my last but not least idea for the night is um, a coupon book. And mainly, you know, they put, you know, the coupon books and you give it to your mom and it's like one hug, one kiss, um, sweeping the floor. Um, give them a coupon book for time. A lot of people just, they just need time. Um, I know I'm personally going through a lot right now. And uh, if someone gives me time, it means a lot. Um, having someone there for you means a lot. So uh, maybe time to just spend together or maybe teach them a lesson or different things. Just come up with different crazy ideas for your coupon book. And when they redeem a coupon, make it fun. Um, but most but um the most important part is just, especially with Christmas coming up, just show people you love them. You never know what's going to happen. Um, whether you're a prepper or not, you know, just tell people you love them. Let them know. Um, that's the main thing, especially for Christmas. So, I hope this gave you some interesting ideas. Um, I hope... You guys have fun with it, uh, and definitely have a wonderful Christmas. So, uh, much love.